All right, Guilty Gear Strive, Waifu tier list. Again, Guilty Gear Strive, so unfortunately, no Biken, no Dizzy, you know, none of the good stuff, but, you know, we're rating the most recent game in the series, that is Strive, you know, we're lucky they just added Jacko, so at least we have six waifus, it is what it is. So, let's get into number one. You gotta explain a little more for the people who don't know the game. Um, sure, I don't know what there is to explain. This is May. She's a kid. Hold on. Whew! That was a difficult one. That was a real difficult one. Yeah, she's a kid. Jail. No. Psh, bad. Alright. Melia Rose. She's a badass. You know, she uses her hair to attack. You know, she does fucked up mix-ups. I like that. The Oki game. Mm, what else is it to say about her? Her personality, it's like the cold type. Oh, you know, look at look at her uh, her hat. Of course she's the cold type. Yeah, I don't know what to say about her, other than I like her. I don't think she's S tier. Maybe we'll bump her up later. Mm, but for now, I'm feeling A tier. She's pretty cool though. She's pretty cool. She's very cool. Eno, this one's the easy one, right? She checks all the boxes. She's, you know, she's a badass. She's got an attitude, super self-confident, hella powerful. She rocks the guitar. Like, she has a witch's hat. Um, easy S tier. All right, I don't even have to explain this. This is the easiest S tier of my life. And she got buffed. Wow. Oh man, I have not played the game in a bit. I should actually get on it again. I want to check out Jacko. I have not checked out Jacko. Gio. That's her name, right? <laughs> yeah. G Giovanna. That's right. Giovanna. I don't know about her. I think she is. She's cool. She has that little too serious vibe going on, like the all business vibe. She has a doggo, which is not as good as cats, but it's still cool. You know, pets are cool. So, I don't know. I like her style too, you know, like her, her clothing style. It's interesting. I was going to say B tier, but the more I think about it, bump her up to A. She's rich. Hmm. Nah, I don't care about money. Rick to think we'll soon be doing Saints Row Reboot Waifu tier list. Yeah, that one's gonna be uh, highly demanded. Mm -hmm. Then, the new one, the new DLC, Jacko. I actually don't know too much about her. I, isn't she Saul's wife? That's a problem, right? I guess technically I haven't looked at relationship status for the other tier lists at all. So, we should ignore that. You know, this is a fancy draft anyway. So, uh, I don't know about her. Mm, she's got the moves though, right? Like, let's be real. Even if she's not your waifu, she did spark... You know, like, social media was pretty dope when she released. Alright, let me tell you. If you follow a cosplayer or two, social media was pretty dope the last couple of weeks. Alright? I've seen some things, and I do not regret it at all. So thank you, Jacko. In fact, maybe we should include that. She is influential, all right? She's influential. Maybe put her up here? Is she better than Melia? I don't think so. And summoning shit is cool, though it's little stupid dudes. And I'm gonna put it here. I'm, I'm personally not too crazy about her. She's cool, again. B doesn't necessarily mean bad, it means, you know, lesser compared to the others. And then... Uh, what's her name again? Oh my god, how did I forget it? Ramlatal, that's it. Ramlatal. Uh, where are we gonna put her? So off the bat, I'm gonna say I'm not a fan of her. I think she has the personality of a door. 
Her fighting style is cool though with the big swords. Eh, see it here. I don't think she's too interesting. And that's all the girls in Guilty Gear. Nice. Again, proving that DOA, in fact, has the best representation of females in the game. AKA, DOA, the most female friendly fighting game out there. Boom. Proven once again. What's the Jacko pose? Oh man, you're gonna have fun tonight. Woo! You know, close your windows, close your doors, start googling and have fun, my man. Have fun. Whether you like artists, cosplayers, whatever. The last couple of weeks have provided for sure with the Jacko pose. Easy. Anyway, yeah, short but sweet. I think this one was super predictable. Of course, these two were gonna be at the top. Yeah, I think they're the coolest characters for sure. You know, easy top tier. If, here's the thing, future, if I were to mentally imagine characters like Biken and Dizzy, you know, those are the, the two ones that I can think of that totally feel missing. There's probably more. But when it comes to waifus, right? Oh, Jam, maybe? I feel Dizzy would definitely be up here somewhere. Maybe A tier. Because she, her personality is not the most interesting one. Biken would probably be up there. She's a badass in all ways. Yeah, we'll see how this game turns out DLC-wise. We might revisit this one once we have the Guilty Gear Strive Ultimate Complete Final Round Ultra Edition, right? That's uh, when we can really judge. For now, this is it. And actually, you know... Um, Last minute revision, all right? Last minute revision. We're going back to Guilty Gear, all right? Last minute flippity flop. There we go. Looking at Virtua Fighter, I was like, man, these are so boring. Uh, Melee is an S tier, let's be real. At least she's a cool character, at least she has a personality. Like, come on. Those ties? Oh, mom. Woo! S tier, alright? Easy. I'm happy about that. And then she's in the running. Then she's in the running. Making it interesting for the future. In the running for the cross fighting game, waifu. I guess tournament, but not really. 